Here we are, back with the green, maybe turn into a spider shirt, I don't know. We will soon find out. Because it's time for the unveiling. And it looks awful light, but there's an awful lot of dark inside there. So, what I'm going to do now is take it over here and wash it because it's done. And we will see what we got. Because you never know, man. You might think you know, and you might have a basic idea of what it's going to look like, but you really never know. It could be a spider, or it could just be some bullshit. It's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It's not really as spider as I want it. So what I'm going to do is wash it and do something else to it. So turn it off. Blast it with water. Try to get the bleach off your hands. See if you can bleach the holes in your fingers. Honestly, well, pretty good. It don't matter. It's getting ready to get some more bleach on it because I found out with these, you can just you can re roll it in a different way and put a different design over the top of the old design and make it look wild. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some lighter colored swirly things in it. Bring it out. I'm going to fold it just like I did a while ago. The front of the shirt facing out. Like this. So you can just do anything, just get wild. Just make shit up as you go, it don't matter. It's gonna turn out looking cool anyway, you know. No matter how crazy looking it gets. This one here, I'm gonna bind it up pretty tight with a bunch of rubber bands. That's what I call a bunch of rubber bands. Now I'm gonna squirt this just kind of around in a circle again, like I did a while ago. I think I'm gonna squirt some straight bleach on it. What the hell? Let's see what happens, man. way it seems cool to do. Okay, turn it off. Now it's starting to take on a different shade of green in a few areas that you won't be able to see probably on that camera. But it's uh, definitely changing. The process is changing even as we speak. And you can let this sit here for a long, long time if you want. The longer you let it sit, the more it's going to bleed into the rest of the surrounding fabric. And uh, the less sharply defined it will be. So, I'm not going to let it sit real long. I think what I'm going to do is throw it in this bowl over here. No particular reason. just feel like I ought to. Alright. I've been sitting in this bowl for about maybe three minutes. This bowl's got diluted bleach mixture in it. And uh, I'm going to say it's done just for the hell of it. I'm really thinking it's probably about as done as I want it. I'm going to start taking the rubber bands off and then I'm going to wash it and hang it around and put it up in the yard with the rest of them for sale and eventually somebody will buy it I also uh, 
I discovered how to make a peace sign. A bleach peace sign. Come over here. I had two more, but I sold them. This is the only one I have left. And actually, this is the second one I did. It's pretty wild looking. You can't really see it. I don't really want to touch it because I got bleach in my hands. But, uh, it's not all that difficult to do, man. I studied it on the internet watching people with dye do it, and I thought, there must be a way to do it with bleach, and there is. I'll show you that one here in another video. Right now, this one's done. I'm going to take it over to the washing room area of my yard. And there it is. Definitely wild looking. See, there's where the second pattern came in at. I could do another one over there. Well, actually, when it's folded over, there should be another one there, but it's not really as clear as that one. You can put one up there, too, if you want to. That's where the rubber bands were. And that's basically it right there. I wouldn't exactly call that one a spider. This one here actually is more spider. It's on the first video. This one's really apocalyptic looking. Wild. That one is wild. This one is actually a spider, tie-dyed spider. Uh, I made just, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. See the various shades. It started out being black. There's some like blood red in it, some orange, some brown, some really white, clear looking stuff. And that all comes from using different times and different bleach mixtures. You just got to uh you just gotta go with the flow, man, you know? Just you do one and next thing you know you're thinking, man, if I did something else to it it'd look even wilder and of course it will look even wilder. And it's fun. It's a hell of a lot of fun. And you only have to be stoned to do it. I ain't been stoned since I did any of these. But uh it would probably help greatly if you were. Anyway that's how it is right here on the corner of Burl and Stewart in Carmi, Illinois.